Okay, today we'll be looking at the Mobile One oil filter number M1-212A and the K&N oil filter number SO2011. And I got both of these at Walmart for $9.97 each. But you may be able to get them cheaper somewhere else. And these two are going to duke it out. Could get ugly, folks. And when the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. This is a network. You got a really good silicone, a nice pipe. You got your inner ear, filtration, and your inner ear. Okay, we'll start with the mobile one, and we'll start with the box. Takes up to one year or 20,000 miles. Got 99% plus efficiency, and that's at 30 microns. Synthetic blend media. And they got a picture here with a metal inner core with holes. But uh, I believe this filter has louvers. Let's open her up and see what she looks like. Okay, the date code. F05N130, and that looks like a 2. This is a sticker. Made in USA. She has eight inlet holes. That looks like a silicone anti drain back valve. See the inner core there has louvers. Bypass valve down below. And let's see, nitro rubber gasket, which is on there pretty good. It's pretty thick too. All right, let's look at the K&N. The K&N is also for 20,000 miles, 99% efficiency, and that's at 30 microns also. We look here, it also has synthetic blend media and a silicone anti-drain back valve. All right, let's open up and see what she looks like. In the date code, 020321AF Product of USA This is sticker It also says Made in USA right here She also has 8 inlet holes Metal core with louvers And Looks to be a bypass valve down below these holes are a lot bigger though. Silicone anti drain back valve. Nitro rubber gasket, which is also on here pretty good and pretty thick. Yep. Let's take a look at these guys. I got the Canon on my right, mobile on the left. Well, base plates totally look different. Bigger holes on the K&N. And the K&N is a larger filter. It's a little bit taller. But if you go to Walmart's oil filter selector, it says these guys are a match. So we'll see how they compare. So I said we cut these babies open. See what they look like inside. Okay, here they are cut open. Let's get their weights. 336 grams for the mobile. 279 grams for the K&N and the base plates the mobile 183 grams the K&N is 111 grams quite a bit lighter let's take a look at these guys up close here are the threads you can see are pretty identical threads and the mobile sticker it's yeah it's you know heavier thicker Probably have one more thread extra on the K&N maybe. But it definitely has bigger holes. And the gasket sticks out just a little more. But otherwise they're both good base plates. I would I kind of would go with the bigger holes, but I don't know, they're both good though. And we got silicone anti-drain back valves. 
on both. <laughs> They're nice and springy. Okay, so this one goes on the K and N. That covers up the holes nicely. And this one goes on the mobile. It also covers up the holes nicely. Okay, the filter element. Let's see, the mobile weighs 81 grams. And the K&N weighs 88 grams. All right, let's take a look at these zips separately. We got a glued seam right here. Kind of a big gap here, though. Metal end caps, bypass valve right here. And we got a little excess glue. Not too much, but just a little bit. And I counted 65 pleats. And we know the micron rating is 99% at 30 microns. And this is a synthetic blend media. Yeah, not bad. Just this one spot here. How about the K&N? The K&N is also sloppy with some glue here. Metal end caps. Inside seam. And I counted 56 pleats. And she has the same micron rating at 99%, 30 microns. And a synthetic blend filter media. It's funny, you know, so much taller, but look at now. They're about the same. More pleats though with the mobile. And let's look at the mobile has a stamp leaf spring. Which weighs seven grams. And the cannon has this stamped bypass valve leaf spring. Which weighs nine grams. And the cans. The cans weigh 59 grams for the mobile. 66 grams for the K&N. Let's get some measurements. Point three seven millimeters for the mobile. Pretty thin. Thin can. Okay, and the K&N. Get a thickness here. It's not that thick, I know that. Yeah, 0 0.41 millimeters. It's a little thicker than the mobile. You can feel it too. How about the filter medias? This is the this is the mobile. Two point seven two inches wide. And the KN is two point seven six inches wide. See they're pretty close. One difference here you'll see is uh the mobile's a little bit fatter here. Let's see. Let me get your measurement this way. Or I'll get it this way. Two point five six inches for the K&N and 2.60 for the mobile. It's a little bit wider. Well, you know what? Let's cut these babies open. I'm kind of interested to see which one's uh, longer. The mobile should be longer, but these filters have fooled me in the past, so yeah, let's cut these babies open, stretch them out, and see how long they are. Okay, and here they are stretched out. And the K&N is 44 and a quarter inches long, and the mobile is 51 and a half inches long.
Okay, and here they are at the seams. And let's get the thickness of these guys. Got the mobile here, if I can pick it up. <laughs> Got Emperor Mobile. Point eight zero millimeters thick. And the can end. Yeah, same thing, 0.8 millimeters thick. Okay. Let's get them up close. I think these are probably the same filter media, except for mobile's discolored for some reason. You now you can see the color darker here it's lighter on this on the ends I don't know maybe it got some oil on it but this has got the glued seam on the outside and the can end has the glued seam on the inside see right here but both filter medias they feel the same except for the discoloration I'd say they're probably the same All right, let's look at the rest of the filter so they both got louvers. This one's the uh, mobile is slightly, slightly wider right here, the, the inner core. Also, I notice it's got a smaller, smaller end caps. They're thinner. You know, I thought for sure the K&N would have more filter media, but it turns out the mobile has more by about 20 square inches, I believe. And the base plates. You know, if you like bigger inlet holes, K&N would be the one to go with. Both got silicone and drain back valves, so that's good. The bypass valve is, depends what you prefer, this one or this one. Stamp leaf springs. The prices are the same. They got the same filtration numbers, and you can buy these at the same place, Walmart. Yeah, when I first looked at them, I thought the K&N would have had more filter media because I thought it was going to be wider because of the size of the cans. But turns out the mobile had more filter media. Hmm. So which one would you guys go with? Please post your comments down below. Well, I think I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget, Oil Filter Friday. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video... Please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. The mobile filter media weighs 19 grams. The K&N filter media weighs 17 grams.